Let's head across the Atlantic to Ainsley, who is live in Windsor, England. Hey, Ainsley. Hey, hey, all of you back in the United States. This is Windsor. You can see Windsor Castle behind me. We flew into, into London yesterday morning, and we spent the entire day with Mr. Nigel Farage, who's sitting right next to me. You all know him. You're, you're basically royalty here in this area, <laughs> Not quite. Too. Not quite. You, well, you're so famous here. You were the man responsible for Brexit, so they love you. When I was out with you yesterday, you were getting stopped constantly. Even on the way in this morning, what happened to you? I got hijacked. Um, <laughs> I was walking down the street to come and see you, and the pub wasn't open, but a publican rushed out and said, come in, I've got to have a photograph of you drinking a beer in my <laughs> pub. And it was part of our tour yesterday. You know, we looked at Westminster Abbey, been there for over a thousand years, but I did manage to lead you astray and take you into an English pub. <laughs> we did. And I'm not sure that uh, American viewers will understand that we serve our beer at warm temperature, at room temperature, and earlier. there's no fizz in it either. So I, I'm sure people turn their nose up, but it was okay, wasn't it? It was delicious. Take a look, everyone. Welcome to London. This is one of the world's most famous churches. This is Westminster Abbey. This was where Prince William married Kate Middleton. Nigel Farage is going to show us around this beautiful city. Let's go find him. Thank you for joining us today. Well, not this a bit. What a pleasure. Let's go and do it. Okay, Nigel. Like a proper English pub. How about a that? A proper pub. Yeah, so it is a proper pub. Did you have your first beer here after Brexit? And we will call it Independence Day. Thank you. I think we did that morning, yes. yes we celebrated that morning here. Explain the significance of the bell. MPs in those days would be drinking, um, and a bell would ring, which meant they had to finish their drinks, because there'd be a vote in ten minutes' time. Well, cheers. Cheers, Nigel. Yes, very good. Welcome to London. Thank you. Where are we? We are entering the Churchill War Rooms. It's the not, actual It's, war it's not a mock-up, it's the real thing. But we're lucky we've got a proper expert to show us around. Well, here we have the Cabinet Room. This was uh, originally, meant, this room was meant to be an air raid shelter for the government office above us. 115 cabinet meetings are held during the war in this room. And most of those meetings down here take place during the period known as the Blitz. And London burned in a great blitz. So in the autumn of 1940, when German aircraft are bombing the city night after night. I can't believe this, this is where Churchill this is walked. This is it. And this you can see, you can see the cigars and the... Yes, wow. absolutely. So this was Churchill's seat here in the war cabinet room. And you can see on his armrests, on the right hand side, where he's been gripping his arm, wow. his arm wrist, yeah. on his left hand side. That's is, really from his fingernails? Absolutely. Yeah. And here you can see the deeper gouges where his signet ring yeah. and drumming on the yes. armrest. So if you can imagine the scene. Before we learn, you cannot reason with a tiger. That is really cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Wow. <laughs> that is pretty wow. cool. And this map shows the shipping routes. Every single pinhole, if you look closely, you can see thousands upon thousands of these pinholes. Uh, each of those pinholes is a convoy. So really, you have a, the, the whole of the World War at a glance. This is the actual map? This is the actual map. Mm. All of those pinholes. Mm. Look, I mean, wow. Now, you've seen the old London, and here's a bit of new London. You get into these pods, and they move slowly. You go up to about 450 feet. Let's go and do it. This is the London Eye. Wow, this is fantastic. You see the tower, the revolving tower? I when I'm doing a hit, with Fox and Friends from London, from a studio down there. It's transmitted to and from America from that tower. So, Nigel, we're at the top of London. We are absolutely king of the hill. We are. This is a beautiful view. Big Ben is obviously under Big construction. Big Ben is, yeah, you can just about see the clock face there. The House of Commons, the House of Lords. Behind it, the Westminster Abbey, where we were. What better view of London can you possibly get? Listen, you can hear the procession. They're practicing already, Nigel. Yes, the army are out there on the streets, the Navy, the Air Force. The crowds are gathering. There's huge excitement and there's good news. I mean, here's the front page of the Sun, our biggest daily selling paper. We've got the announcement of the bridesmaids, the page boys. Lots of happiness, but tinged with sadness, Meghan Markle's father really has been the victim of a horrible tabloid media campaign. And as they say here now, alone, ill and afraid. And I'm sorry to say that Kensington Palace have not looked after him. He should have been kept free so. from the vultures. And the fact that he's not going to be here is the one slight tarnish on what otherwise is looking amazing. Yeah, Meghan Markle said her father will not be attending and the tabloids say that her mother will be walking her down the aisle. That's we'll right. see on Saturday. Okay, back to you guys in the studio. Hey, Ainsley, right. on behalf of Steve, I have to say we're a little jealous of the synergy you and Nigel have. I sense you guys could do your own morning show in Britain. How fun would that be?
<laughs> in a pub, Brian. <laughs> you were asking if they drink the beer warm or cold. Right? Well, you got your answer. You a answer the bit tough more than they do in the United States. <laughs> Absolutely. But Love it's it. still beer. We don't care. Right. If they don't. They don't like it ice cold. They like it. They serve it the temperature of the cellar, which is not warm, but it's not that chilly either. Oh, cool. All right, Ainsley. Thank you very much. We look forward That's to the exactly next report. See you soon. Thanks, Ainsley.